First thing you're going to need is wire. Now I'm using quite a thick one but what you could use instead is you could use that kind of thin jewellery wire if that's all you have. This is really just a base to make sure that you've got something to work on top and what you want to do is make a loop at the end of the wire. Curl round any of the extra wire that's hanging loose at the end and just make sure that it's flat because we don't want this to stab you in the head later. And then you want to take the wire, figure out how it's going to fit around your head and make a second loop. Once you've made the second loop you're going to take that wire and just wrap it backwards and forwards between the two loops till you've got a shape like this. And these two loops at the end, they're what you're going to use to take the hairpins to pin it down on your head so that it doesn't come loose. So you absolutely have to do those loops, don't try and skip that step. Then you want to get some interesting twigs, and by interesting I mean don't get anything which just grows straight up, that's boring. Find something which looks like little branches, and we're going to start weaving these into the wire crown that we've made. If the wire's a little bit too tight and you can't really fit the branches in, just take something like um, a little steel tool like what I have here, you can even use your fingers or a pair of pliers and just move the wire apart and wiggle the twigs in. You want to try and go for a bit of a triangle shape so the thicker and more splayed out branches you want to have close to the center and then the smaller and shorter branches you're going to have more towards the edges. Now we're going to be using a glue gun and we're going to start making the icicles and it's really easy to make the icicles. I'm going to be doing it on my work mat but if you don't have a work mat you can just do this on a plate and we just want to make some kind of icicle drop shapes and it's really easy just kind of squirt it out onto the mat and then once it's dry you can just peel them off and try and make them varying sizes so larger ones, medium sized ones and then small ones and then we're going to start gluing them down on the crown. Figure out where you want them on the crown and take the glue gun and just start to glue it all down. Once you've glued down the main amount of the icicles we're going to start covering the wire because we don't want the wire to be something that people can see so we're just going to cover it with a glue gun. Sticking down the icicles don't just stick them at the front of the crown put a few behind the crown that way you get more of a layered effect and they're not all just stuck at the front because it looks a lot more interesting if you have them looking as if there's kind of rows of icicles instead of just one at the front. For this I'm going to take some white acrylic paint and I'm just going to cover mainly the branches but also the icicles. I want to cover the branches anywhere where snow would naturally be able to land and stay so on anything which isn't completely vertical I'm going to try and paint it white and then I'm also going to put a few coats on the icicles as well anywhere where I think snow could stick and stay not anywhere that looks unrealistic. Next I'm going to be using some PVA glue and water and I'm going to be using this because it's something that a lot of people are very likely to have but if you can get something like spray glue for this step because it would look so much nicer but I wanted to use something that people are more likely to have so I'm going to be mixing PVA glue and water and just trying to put this over all high points on the crown so the branch wherever I've painted acrylic paint on the tips of the icicles also at the base of them as well and once I've covered the coat, uh, not the coat, the crown in a thin coat of glue I'm going to take sugar and I'm going to sprinkle it all over and it should stick to where you've put the PVA glue and water and that will make the icicles look a little bit more crystallised and just a little bit more interesting. Once it's dried you want to spray it with about three to four coats of hairspray just to make sure that the sugar doesn't come loose and go in your hair. Clean up the mess you've made and that's it, you're done. <laughs>